What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we'll be taking a look at uh, Ted Karras, uh, one of our centers this year for the Miami Dolphins. Um, I'm kind of wanting to take a look at our offensive line because that was our biggest concern, in my opinion, last year. Um, I've already kind of made videos on all the rookies we have, but I want to go ahead and take a look at some of these other people, especially the people we got like through free agency and stuff like that. And uh, we got Ted Karras from the New England Patriots. Now, I went on NFL.com and looked up his game logs just to see what games he started and stuff like that. I'm not going to look at preseason. Um, but he pretty much played every game besides week 14, it looks like. So we won't be looking at that game. But uh, he started all the others, and he did start um, against the Titans in the postseason. So we'll probably be st we'll be starting off with that. He is the center number seventy five. I think he's wearing what sixty seven for us. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I got it pulled up. We're just gonna go play by play. When it switches to the Titans offense, I'll just come back and switch. So. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I don't hate that. Um So, right there He's making sure to keep his hand on the defender's chest. He's helping out the guard. But he's also keeping his eyes upfield, making sure that no one is coming in his lane. I don't hate that. Okay. Let's go to this angle. It, this angle is significantly better when we're looking at line. The offensive line. He's got his hands inside. That's something if you watch my channel, you know I'm a fan of. He's driving his feet forward. How do the feet look? A little choppy, but it looks okay. Um, he's working with the guard here to get him out of there. I mean, he, Brady ends up getting pressured anyway, but I'm not too mad at Ted there. He did his job. It was more so the right guard and the right tackle that kind of failed him there. Okay. Got a guy standing up in front of him. Interesting. Interesting. Now, those feet are a little bit choppy. That didn't look that natural. It's not terrible, but it does look a little bit choppy. And then, my bad. He was doing good before, but now he's got his hands to the outside. I'm not a fan of that. He's like bear hugging him. Um, yeah, I... I he needs a stick to get in his hands inside, man. Luckily, the right guard was able to help him. Yeah. I mean, luckily, if you're going to have an offensive line weakness, it should be your center because you can have the guards help him. What happened there? Okay. He got his hands inside there. L 
uh, he just uh, he got his hands inside as well and extended. Uh, yeah, he just ripped past those arms. He ends up getting free. It is a screenplay too. Uh, I think I think he actually probably let go then, because it is a screen. You don't have to hold for forever. All right, let's see him in movement. I'm actually going to let this go full speed so we can kind of see him move a little bit. It's not bad. Uh, he kept one hand on the defender's chest there. Not too mad at that. Ugh, the play design wasn't that great, though. He's got his hands inside there. I like it. You can't see what his hips are looking like. Uh, his his feet are a little bit wide there. I'm kind of concerned about the balance. If you look at the guard here, his feet are relatively parallel with his shoulders. He's got his feet a little bit wide right now. Uh, it's looking a little better. Yeah. He did okay, though. He definitely has to get better at uh, not letting his feet get that wide, though. You, you will get caught off balance doing that. For sure. Um, okay. Still Patriots ball. Cool. Got his hands inside. It's a good start. His feet are kind of wide again. I don't know. I don't know how you ended up all the way over here. Ugh. Not a big fan of his feet, man. I'm really not. Um, okay. Garbage truck outside. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not a fan there. He um, he kind of looked lost there. Look, he was supposed to get to the um, get to the mic here, but he kind of passed him a little bit. Nearly grabbed his face mask. Mm. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan of that play. His feet are kind of narrow there. He's got his hands outside. I don't like that. He's pretty much got it by his elbows. Luckily, he's got the guard helping him. As you can kind of see, though, that is a good thing about, like, if you, if you have a weakness at offensive line, it is your center because you can use your guards to kind of hide it. The only thing is, if you come up against, like, a really dominant defensive line, you're going to be in trouble.
So I like the angle he's keeping him. He's got his hands inside. I like it. Um, his hips look okay. Yeah. I like that he kept his back to where the play is supposed to go. That puts your body in between him and the ball carrier. So I like that. Okay. Hands inside. I like it. Feet are a little bit wide still. But again, he's just going to kind of get his body in the way because the play is going this way. Yeah. I put a hand on the on this dude. Okay. Now one thing I would have liked to see cuz he looked kind of lost out there on what to do. He was kind of looking around. What I would have liked to see him do is kind of back up and get a hand on this guard. Just kind of help out 69 a little bit. Um, but still keep your eyes upfield. Kind of like he did with 62 earlier in the game. But instead he takes forever, over commits. I mean, they end up getting him on the ground, so it's fine. But still. Okay. Hands inside, getting help from the left guard. Left guard's probably going to climb to the linebacker. Yeah. Yeah, he's got his hands inside there. He's going to, again, turn his body away from where the play's going. Like it. All right. Got his hands inside. I have to see his feet. They look kind of what? Nope. Slow it down. Go. That's not what I wanted to do at all.
He's going to kind of go over here and help out the right tackle. What he should do is come off of here and climb up to get the linebacker. But, you yeah, know. Okay, slow down. So this is what I was kind of talking about earlier, right? This is what I wanted him to do before. He's getting his hand over there, just kind of helping out the guard a little bit. But he's keeping his eyes upfield, making sure the linebacker's not crashing down, making sure 62's not getting his ass whooped, you know, that type of thing. So 62 start getting whooped a little bit. So he comes off of him and he's going to square up with this dude. And now it's almost impossible for anyone to get in on the interior. Now he's going to square up with this dude. Try to slow him down. Now, Tom actually had quite a bit of time there. Can't really be mad at the O-line there. Okay, so quarter change. So now we're looking at it from this angle, which is still better than the zoomed out one. Actually, should be able to see his hands a little bit easier. And go. Okay. Step back a little bit. He's got his hands inside. He's got to start working this direction, though. Because he's going to get his ass whooped if he doesn't. He's kind of got his hips going this way. And he's got, he got help from his guard, so it's fine. Again, that's the that's the thing about centers. Is you you do get that help from your guards. Man, what the what the fuck? Oh my bad. Okay. Okay, let me take that back a little bit. Kind of got a hand in his face there, but it looks like he's got his uh, left hand inside. The guard's coming over here to help. Oh, man. Okay. They're lucky this linebacker wasn't blitzing. Because he would have had a straight shot. Him and his guard overcommitted there. Okay. Right here. That was just a mess. No. That's just a mess. Alright, let's look let's look at some um film from another game. Um Let's do
Let's see him against us. Why not? All right, my bad. Plays. Okay, so pause. Let's do it. Okay. So he's going out toward out toward the left. Okay, I get it. Play is going this way, so you're just you, you, the uh, center and tackle just kind of sealed the left side. I got gotcha. you. Makes sense. Okay. Why are you turning all the way around? Oh god. That is some weird play design. Yeah, man. Oh no. Was he supposed to do that? You should never turn your back to the D lineman like that. Ugh. I don't know if he was supposed to do that. He either made a bad decision or that was just pla or that was just bad play design. Okay. Hand inside. Just kinda Yeah. The more I'm seeing of him, the more I don't like him by himself. I don't hate him if he's, like, getting help from the guards. But outside of that, no, I don't. Come on, this been going. We'll go, so we'll go a little longer. He did okay there. He did okay there. Um, and that was completely him by himself, too. He's got his hands inside. He's giving up ground slowly. And then look look at his hips there. He's sinking, it, he's sinking his hips down. He's just not going to let him move too much more forward. I like it. And look at his feet. They're pretty much parallel with his shoulders. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I was talking about against the Titans. You do that, you get more powerful, you get better balance, and good things happen for you. Just need to see that more consistently. And we'll be good. Got his hands inside. That's going to get called. <laughs> but, yeah, looking better now. I mean, granted, we're, the Dolphins are a much worse team than the Titans were last year, but still. Technique is technique regardless of who you're playing against. Good base. Get your other hand inside. Yeah, looking good. Looking really good there. The tackle kind of got his ass whooped, but... He looked good.
So what I'm seeing right now, yeah, looking good. When he does get his hands inside and his base looks good, he's not bad. It's just he's just got to get more consistent. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Not getting help from his guard. I mean, that's a linebacker, but still. Done the last couple plays. I ain't worried about the receiver or Tom Brady are doing, but. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going. He's going to get help from his guard here. Got his hands inside. Base looks a little bit wide, but looks better than it did last game. Okay, he's going to get help from the guard. But he still looked good. He's looking much better now. Even though they lost both games, and the Dolphins aren't as good as the Titans, but even still, just his technique looks better this game. Very good. Um, this is a good job seeing what was happening to him between him and the guard there. Uh, he's got one hand inside. Looks like he kind of put the other on his arm. I'm not a fan of that. His base looks okay, giving up ground slowly. But then he sees this defender coming across this side. So he's going to pass his dude to the guard and then turn his hips and get his hands on this dude. I like it. I like it. Okay, we're switching angles. That's fine. Got Julian Edelman in motion. So I don't like where he got his hand there. I'd like to see those hands a little bit higher, a little bit closer to your chest. And I don't like that swing in motion at all. I, I, I like to have their hands like right by their chest so they can punch out and deliver the blow first. I do not like that swing in motion at all. That's how he ends up on the outside. I mean, he's got he's got his guards help on this play, so he's fine. But that's not always going to be the case. Okay. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't looking at punts. Um, we'll probably go to the end of the first quarter and then we'll, um, we'll wrap it up. Wait, the angle changed, so that was the end of the first quarter, right? Yeah. All right, well, um, this looks like a pretty lengthy drive. We'll, we'll look at this drive, and then that'll be it. Okay. Got his hands inside, looking good. Getting help from the guard. Okay. Ooh, I 
world is violent. <laughs> he tried to hit you with a mean ass spin move uh, or swim move rather, but it, it didn't work too well. Good job defending that. I don't like that little bear hug, but that was more just a uh, quick brace trying to stop him, so I'm not mad. He's got his hands inside now. Base is looking okay. Giving up ground slowly. He locked his hips down. And now he ain't moving. Now you got help from your guards. That's looking pretty good. That didn't look too bad. Okay. So he's got his hands inside. I like it. Base is looking good. And he doesn't move. <laughs> see, you see what I'm talking about though? Like, you get your base good. You lock your hips down. You give up ground slowly if you're dealing with someone more powerful than you. You keep your hands inside. And most of the time, you'll be okay. Especially at center. Because at worst, your guard can usually help you. Using uh, his right guard to help him out there. I don't like him fully turning around like that, though. All right, hands inside. Base looks good. The play is kind of going this direction, so yeah, just kind of keep your body in the way. Keep up the hand fight. You're probably going to end up tripping, but he's kind of locked onto this dude's leg. He didn't. That's good. His guard did. But that looks good. Not mad at that play. Not mad at that play at all. He's got one hand outside. Looks like he's got the other inside. I'd like to see him fight to get that other hand inside. But play's going the other way, so it really didn't matter. I like that. I like it. I need you to finish that, though. Okay, so I got some things to say about this. Um, so first thing, there's some things I liked about this and some things I didn't like um, toward the end. I like this, though. He... Um, he helps out his guard a little bit, helps push this defender toward this direction because they're trying to make a hole for the running back to run up this way. And the second he gives him that little push and gets him out the paint, he's going to climb and work his way up to Jerome Baker. He's going to get his hands inside. I like that a lot. Base a little bit narrow. Um, the only thing is, like, he's got him, but he's got to finish this. He's got to now sink those hips down, keep your hands on him, and don't let him off of you. But he doesn't end up finishing it, and Jerome Baker ends up helping with this tackle. So uh, that's just something to um, to take into consideration. Like, I love most of that. I liked, 
how he helped out his guard. That looked good. I liked the way he moved to climb up to the linebacker. That's something you need for um, if you're going to do zone running schemes, you've got to block a gap, and then you got to get up and block the mic. If you do that, you should be successful with zone running. He's just got to finish. All right, he's going to help out his guard. So you're going to climb? No. Okay. He just stuck there with helping his guard. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Let's go to this angle. Base is a little bit wide here. Not too bad. Looks like he's got his hands inside, though. Giving up ground slowly. Looking good. Got a little bit of help from his guard at the end. But his base was pretty good there. Ah, he did that thing again that I really can't stand. I hate I hate it when offensive linemen swing their arms like that. I don't like upswings. I, I like you get, keeping your hands locked in tight and punching through. Oh, this is how you end up with your hands outside. I mean, luckily the play is going this direction, so it's not too bad, but... Oh. You can do that against some people, but you go up against some of the better defensive linemen in the league, and you're going to get taken for a ride doing shit like that. You don't want them to get their hands inside on you like that. Giving up ground slowly, got his hands inside. His opponent was giving him a bull rush, and he gave up ground slowly. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. I like it. Um, let's take a look at this. He swung that arm again. I can't stand that. I mean, he gets his hands inside. I just don't like the way he's doing it. The result's okay. But but even even though he's getting there, you get so much more push when you punch out from your chest instead of swinging up. Yeah. But he does end up blocking him. Uh, and he's going to pass him to his guard and help his right guard block, uh, I think that was Van Ginkle. So I'm not mad at that. I think that was third down. Is they kicking a field goal here? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. It's already 40 minutes long. So, um, yeah, anyway, I think that's pretty much going to be it. If you liked it, I, I, I guess I'll give it a final synopsis of them first. Um, so I kind of talked about it throughout the film session but uh when he does get his hands inside he narrow you know he gets a good base everything like that he doesn't look too terrible especially at center i mentioned it before and you've seen it uh, a lot of times you can get help with the guard so you can kind of hide some of the flaws you have with your center um so we should be looking kind of okay there I'm just, he just needs to get more consistent from me. I really don't like that arm swinging motion. There's a lot of offensive linemen that do that in the league, and I can't stand it. Um, you, the really good ones, typically, they get their hands locked in right by their chest, and they fire out with a punch. 
That's how you that's how you show your power even if you're not as powerful as your opponent. Um but overall I mean he, he he's not he's not awful. Uh like I said we can use him with some combo blocks with our guard so he should be looking okay there and as you've seen when his technique is looking okay, he does okay. So even by himself. Now, I wouldn't let him go up against some of the better defensive linemen in the league like by himself. I, th- I don't think that's smart. Use guards to help him. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.